Hi, in this video, I share with you how to remove the last item of each block. So, as you can see, that this is 1102, and the last item is auto bot. So, then this item will not be changed. But as for this group, 11313, the last item is not auto boot so this item should be removed and that goes the same so ultimately in this list we want to remove this item and this item so let's begin so I did not solve this problem immediately because it's considered hard so it is okay that sometimes you cannot solve it you put it aside and let the mind think about it so let's go to data tab choose from table range turn it into a table range so the first step i use is to add a column index column to identify which row that I want to remove later but because it's so dynamic I wouldn't know which one is the last row of that group so let's say this is a group I want to group it I go to home group by and group by the number here I choose all rows and just call it details click OK so this table consists of all the lines that for this number this for this number but now I want to extract the last row and then to look at what is the last row the value in this item column to do that I go to add column custom column last table dot last double click on this Okay, so that will give you the last row. Click OK. Okay, so this is the last row. Auto boot. Last row is this. So it become a record because it's a single row. And then now I want to extract the items. To so extract the items, I come over here and I type in fill so record dot fill and then I want something in the item column item elements okay in that record I want that item for each of the record I want only the value in the item item so now you can see that the last item in this group is tanjung so which is not auto bot so yes exit I want this value that means I want this value so now what I do is I want to know not only the the item I want to know the index which is is the Sanjo I want this index which is four so to do that again I use custom column the, I'll go for I'll check if the last row here the value is not equal to or to boot so if that's the case then what happened is that I would again get the last item the table of this item that give me a record and I want only the index columns value else nothing just put that now so these are the things that I want to, to be removed. 
the rows to be in move. Okay, and then click OK. So you can see that that's the fold. So what we just done here is we extract the last row in this table and then which is this last row and then we want the index value so which gives us number four okay then finally we right click and remove others column go over here and check all the blanks so these are the rows and also we go to transform convert this to a list so I call this query as uh, list to remove okay next we kind of like want to go back to this table here and then say according to this list we remove it see that um, this item we want to remove is the it's from here zero one two three four see this is the four four items should be removed according to this list how to do about it I'll talk about it in the next video stay tuned